Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary Channel, which is the build at 26200. As you can see, we have a build jump in the Canary Channel for version 24H2. And also this build is offered to the Canary Channel only, not on the dev channel. So maybe next week we're going to see more Microsoft's plan regarding the dev channel. But if you haven't installed this build yet on the Canary Channel and you still want to move to the dev channel, you have one last chance before checking for updates and getting this new build. You can still switch to the dev channel if you want to. After that, you will only be able to switch to the dev channel if you do a clean install. So in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 and Saturday preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as you may notice, the watermark is back on the Canary channel. We have the watermark with the bow to 6200 and all also the platform which is germanium so the watermark is back after being removed for a few builds first of all Microsoft is making some improvements to the widgets button on the taskbar so that the icons on the taskbar are clearer and they are also rolling out a larger set of animated icons also related to the widgets board Microsoft is introducing the ability for developers to send notifications to the taskbar button with their custom dashboards for the widgets board and there was also a documentation for Microsoft on how to do this you can check that out in the article below in the video's description related to the taskbar system tray, Microsoft is going back to the leaf icon for the energy saver. So if you turn on energy saver, you're going to notice that we now have the leaf icon back inside the canary channel. And this is available for PCs that are plugged in and do not have batteries such as desktop PCs. Also as found by Phantom Ocean 3, the old fonts control panel will start being redirected to settings, personalization and fonts. So if you search fonts on the search box and press enter, we're going to notice that you will be redirected to to the official settings page as I've said personalization and fonts and you also have this banner fonts control panel is being redirected here to access the legacy interface click this link or navigate to see Windows fonts in file explorer and if you click on this link you'll be navigated to this page and I think this is again part of Microsoft's process of moving the old settings from the old control panel to the new settings app we also have a few fixes in this build regarding the taskbar system tray Microsoft fixed an issue that caused a dead zone you couldn't click inside of next to the notification center fix an issue that was caused the page icons in quick settings to not work in secondary settings pages and they also fixed an issue where keyboard focus wasn't shifting to the top item of the new page correctly after switching pages in quick settings related to input they fixed a tab tip.exe crash which could impact the ability to input text related to windowing they fixed an issue which could cause remote app windows to get cut off when using 200 scaling and related to multiple desktops they fixed an issue where the option to set a different wallpaper on each desktop wasn't working and basically this is all there is to it if you want to check out all the known issues in this build you can check out the article below in the video's description if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i'm Zumani from tech base until next time have a nice day